many religions claim to hold the key to man's salvation. Scientology is no exception. The most fundamental explanation um, as regards Scientology's basic beliefs is, is that man is basically good um, and that the individual is a spiritual being that you've lived before and you'll live again and um, that your capabilities are infinite if not yet fully realized. We have the ability to actually help make a difference in the situation in Haiti and I just can't you know, see not using this plane to help. But behind the church's high celebrity profile and pious exterior lies a leadership at war with its real and perceived enemies. They include a growing band of former Scientologists and any media like Four Corners that dares to report their grievances. That was a private investigator who's been following us all night long. In recent months, a storm has erupted around Scientology. In Australia and overseas, the church stands accused of breaking the law and destroying families. Its critics are growing in strength and numbers, openly challenging the church over how it treats its adherents and punishes them. It's a slave camp, there's no question about it, because people are definitely abused. People were thrown overboard, hands bound and feet bound and blindfolded. You know, women of 55 years old. I was angry. Don't get me wrong. If I could have gone up there and, and King hit the very individual that signed my daughter to scrubbing out a dumpster, I would have been there. Tonight on Four Corners, former members of the church who say they've suffered enough shine a light on the dark side of Scientology. Available now on iTunes.